Hey guys, thank you so much for clicking on today's video. My name is Annalise and this is my channel where we get planty with it. So today I'm gonna to be talking about my official 2022 houseplant wish list. My last wish list video was I think in the summer of 2021 and a lot has changed since then. I actually picked up three plants from my wish list, which I'll show you guys in a second. And then a lot of plants that were And a lot of plants have actually come off my wish list. I think as the year passed, I realized maybe I didn't need them as much as I thought I did. So I've definitely amended my wish list. I think only one plant has carried over from last year. So let's just hop into it. So first up, I want to show you guys the three plants that I picked up from last year's wish list really quickly. First up is the Jade Satin Syndopsis. Here is my baby. She is so full. This pot has been going crazy. This leaf is pretty much new here, and then it's unfurling this leaf right now. I actually need to repot it in the next couple of weeks probably because it's growing out of the bottom. Yeah, I think it's pretty root bound in here. I mean, you can see just how full this little pot is. So that's number one. Number two is the Philodendron Florida Beauty, which I have right here. Here is the newest leaf, which is a half moon leaf. It's so stunning. And the leaf before that was also so gorgeous. So this was the second wish list plant I picked up. And then last but not least is a Philodendron Sodoroy. I'll include some footage of it because I don't want to move it because it's in the window in a big pot. But I actually ended up getting two of those kind of by accident. One I ordered on an import order from Green Spaces. Then I forgot about that and went to the Aguagenera pop-up, saw one, fell in love. So now I have two of them. But those are the three plants I picked up from last year's wish list. So now we can jump into this year's wish list. So first up is a plant that actually carried over from last summer and that is the Philodendron Bicolor. This plant is so gorgeous. It has the longest, strappiest leaves and the front of the leaves are a dark green tone and the back are this like deep red color. So they're so beautiful. They're still very expensive and hard to find. I don't know anyone on my Instagram at least that I've seen who has one. So I think this one might be one that's gonna just continue on to the 2023 wish list, but we'll see. Maybe, maybe I'm wrong. So next up is a plant that I think is actually going to be trendy in 2022, and that is the Homolomina rubescens. I've definitely heard some people getting excited about it. I've heard some chatter about it, but they're not really available at this point except to import. I've only ever seen them available via import. Did I say what plant it is? The plant is the Homolomina rubescens variegata. They're these beautiful kind of pillowy leaves that can have yellow or pink or light green variegation on them. Super stunning. But as I was saying, yeah, they're really hard to find, but I think people are going to really be trying to get them in the US. Hopefully someone I know picks one up and then I can organize a trade or something. But I think that might be one that might not happen for another year as well, just so I can wait until they're more available here, prices drop, etc. So that might be a 2023 plan. Okay, so next up is a plant that I think is actually pretty attainable. I know a lot of people have this plant, so I'm hoping this one actually comes true. And that is the Philodendron Bipenifolium aria. Now, the most common Bipenifolium that you see is just the regular green form. It has a super unique shape. It's actually also known as the horsehead philodendron because the leaves kind of look like a horse head, I guess. But the aria one has more kind of yellowy green leaves, kind of like the philodendron lemon lime that kind of color or a neon pothos. So I think that'd be a really cool addition to my collection because I realized I have very few plants with that color foliage. I have a lot more of the deeper green tones, but I think it'd be fun to bring in some lighter yellow tones and the leaf shape is super cute. Moving on next up is a Hoya, of course. I have two Hoya on my wish list this year and the first one is the Hoya Bella Louis Bois. I have no idea if I said that right, but tried my best. But anyway, the Louis Bois is one of the variegated forms of the Hoya Bella. There are quite a few. I think there are at least three that I've heard of, but I just love this one the most. I love the coloring of the leaves and I've been loving the Hoya Bella recently. If you've been following me for a while, you know my Hoya Bella has been through it. It died back to like four leaves after a very intense spider mite infestation, but now it is going crazy. I'll insert some footage. It is just growing like nobody's business. So now that I feel a little bit more confident in the Hoya Bella, I feel like I could move on to a variegated version. The second Hoya that's on my wish list is the Hoya New Guinea Ghost. Now, I feel like the silvery Hoyas really grew in popularity over the past year, especially alongside the, um, oh my God, this leaves my mind every time, the Hoya Wilbur Graves. 
The Wilbur Greaves is a super silvery Hoya that at one point was going for thousands of dollars and I think as that grew in popularity, other silvery Hoyas also became more popular. And so the New Guinea Ghost is one of those that I would love to pick up. What I think I like most about it is the leaf shape is pretty unique and its growth pattern seems different than a lot of Hoya. It seems like it grows more compact versus long vines with leaves randomly along them. So I think that's super cool. So that's the one I hope to pick up. Those are my two Hoya. Back to another philodendron. So next up on the list is a philodendron that I think is pretty popular on a lot of different people's wish lists, and that is the philodendron strawberry shake. Now these are pretty hard to find, and I think with this one especially, I want to really wait until I find the right plant because I've noticed, similar to the pink princess, if you don't have really good variegation, the plant is kind of underwhelming and can be kind of disappointing, especially for the price tag. So I'd really want to find a nicely variegated one that has those pinks and yellow tones in the what is going on? There is so much outside noise today. I don't know what is happening, but that has those pinks and yellow tones in the leaves. Is everything okay? that has those pinks and yellow tones in the leaves, so I'm hoping to find one like that sometime soon. Okay, next up is a genus that I don't really talk about. I only actually have one plant in this genus, but when I look at this plant, I'm like, this is such an incredible plant. One, it looks amazing all the time. It doesn't need super high light. It's never had a pest in its entire life, and it's always putting out growth. So why do I not have more plants like that? That's my question. So the plant that is on my wish list is the Aglianema Ghost Frosted. As I said, I have one Aglianema, the Silver Bay, which I love. And so I thought, why not expand my Aglianema collection a little bit? I actually did order one for my birthday, but I will show you guys that when it comes, hopefully in the coming weeks. I think it'll be here next week, so I'll do a little birthday haul at some point. But the Aglianema Ghost Frosted is another one that's on my wish list because the leaf coloring and pattern is just so pretty. And I think it's really different from a lot of the other Aglianemas that you see on the market. So I have two more left, one more philodendron, and it is a beautiful, long, strappy philodendron. Oh yes, actually before I forget, I wanted to do a video on my guesses of 2022 houseplant trends, but I couldn't really think of enough trends. But I, I do have one trend that I think is gonna grow in popularity in 2022, and that is people loving long, strappy leaves. I actually just watched Kayla Plants's wishlist video, and as she said herself, pretty much all the plants on her wishlist are plants with those longer, beautifully strappy leaves. Maybe not strappy is the right word, but longer, just longer leaves. And so I feel like I definitely have that theme with the bicolor and with the next plant I'm talking about, which is the philodendron patricii. So the patricii is so beautiful. It has very long leaves. It doesn't have lobes at the top. It kind of just is a big oval shape. It has really cool texture on the leaves and it's just so, so stunning, especially when they get massive. I've been loving my Esmeraldense, which kind of looks similar, has those long leaves as well. And so I feel like the patricii is one I know I will also love. They do have them available at Equigenera and I've been tempted, but they're definitely on the pricier side. So I wanna either try to make a trade, which might be tough, or wait for a sale so I can make it a little bit more affordable. Okay, last but not least, this is another genus that I don't talk about too much, but I do like, except for the fact that they're pest magnets, and that is Alocasia. So the one Alocasia that's on my wish list this year is the Alocasia Jacqueline. Now, the Jacqueline is so unique. I don't know any other plant that looks even remotely like this. Not even just the leaf shape, but the texture and patterning on the leaves is like insane. And they can get really big and be such a statement plant. They're so gorgeous. I never really see them available for sale. I don't even know if they have to be imported at this point. I don't know how widely available they are at all, but that is the last plant on my wish list this year. I'll probably do an updated wish list in the summer because, you know, things change all the time. But this is my current 2022 wish list now. Please, 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 if you have any of these plants and you would want to make a trade, feel free to DM me on Instagram. I would absolutely love that. After my last wishlist video, someone DM me and I made a trade for my Jade Satin and then we ended up becoming great friends. So that kind of worked out. Maybe that'll come from this video too. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Please comment down below what is on your wishlist this year. I always want to add more plants to my wishlist, so please let me know. And otherwise, I will see you guys next time. Bye!